the Chicago Bears have been kind of making me upset, bro. And, and you know, let's get serious for a second. So we seen what the Bears did in free agency. So they picked up uh, former Eagles running back DeAndre Swift, which was a huge thing. They picked him up for three years, um, twenty four million dollar deal. Um, and it's rumored that they're going to try and get Calvin Ridley next, which would be huge. I think this will be tremendous for the Bears to get Calvin Ridley. But what everybody wants to know is, are we keeping Justin Fields or are we trading this man? Because what the hell is going on? We keep talking about we want him gone. We want another pick. We want Caleb Williams. We going to trade the number one pick for Caleb Williams. What the hell are the Bears going to do? And at this point, you know what? I'll, I'll keep it this way. The Bears have have damaged themselves and they talk about all this stuff of Justin Fields not having a good trade market. This is self-inflicted by the Chicago Bears. This was brought upon solely by the Chicago Bears organization because they waited so long to make a move with Justin Fields. Because, damn it, if they would have came out right away and said, hey, we want to trade Justin Fields, there would have been multiple teams who needed a quarterback ringing at their door, knocking at their door. Hey, we need Justin Fields. Because now, all the options are gone. Many of the options who, who wanted a quarterback and was planning on making a move in free agency are already gone. The Falcons was a big team who was in a conversation for Justin Fields. The Raiders were a big team trying to get Justin Fields. The Steelers were a big team trying to get Justin Fields. And now, all you're left with is... The, the commanders who have a number two pick, why would they get Justin Fields when you can draft a, a quarterback at number two and take a, a, a decent quarterback for a way less pay? Like, to me, the Bears definitely self-inflicted this and they brought it upon themselves. And at this point, bro, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Whether they get Caleb Williams or not, none of this shit is going to matter if they don't have an offensive line or solid defensive pieces. This is what I've been preaching for day one. I've been saying this ever since they even talked about trading Justin Fields and trading the number one pick or drafting Caleb Williams. None of that matters if they don't have a solid offensive line and a defensive presence there. Because you draft Caleb Williams, even if you land Calvin Ridley, it's not going to matter. How are you going to get the ball 30 yards down the field throwing when you don't have any pass protection to allow Caleb Williams time to throw the ball. Even if you're up 10 points, how are you going to win a ball game and get to the playoffs if your defense can't hold a lead and top to stop the team from scoring that you're going against? It's not going to be successful until these guys get some offensive line pieces and a defensive presence. It doesn't matter who's your quarterback. And I know quarterback play is like, oh, the big thing now. Everybody only cares about quarterback play in today's era of football, which is, it makes a lot of sense. These guys are getting paid millions of dollars as at quarterback they're the only position that's like really bringing in some big time m's if you're a quarterback in the nfl you're straight you're sitting comfortable but as far as the bears they're not in a desperate need for a quarterback right now they're in a desperate need of an offensive line they're in a desperate need for a defensive presence bring pieces to help what's needed not what sounds good not what's going to make fans happy. Damn it. To hell with all the fans right now. You need to do something that's going to actually help you win games on the field. Because the more you win games on the field, the more fans are going to be happy. That's the starting point. And right now, it don't matter. You get Calvin Ridley, which would be nice. It looks good on paper. It brings a lot of hype. But you ain't going to be able to get them guys open down the field because they're not going to have time for their route to even develop. Because Caleb Williams or Justin Fields going to already be sacked by then. So yeah, it, it, it's insane to me. They've already they've already bothered me enough, man. And, and the Bears at this point, bro, I've given up on y'all. Y'all y'all had a chance, and you still have a chance, but the chances is becoming more and more slim to become an elite team in the NFC North.